everyone and welcome back once again and uh, today I will be showing you a butterfly or wing style top and you can adjust the length according to you and you can wear it on top of jeans or tights it's entirely up to you all right so I have to uh, take in four folds and the one side is all open and one side is folded now for the length it's entirely up to you how long you want if you want to wear it on top of jeans definitely you want to shorten it and if you want to wear it as a dress uh, like my daughter and niece going to wear and that's what they ask for so they will be wearing on top of skinny jeans or tights or jeggings so the total length I took is for is 33 inches and this is for 8 years or 7 years old. Alright, so from the folder side I will start marking for uh, first the neckline and then shoulders and then um, everything else. So the width of the neckline is 2.5 inches, the depth for the front is 3 inches and for the back is 2 inches and I round it up. After that, I will see that how long my sleeves are. So for that, I have to mark for the shoulders, which is five and a half inches. And from here, then I will see that if uh, the length of my sleeves is enough, I need it ready 16 inches. Make sure you have half an inch for seam allowance. And after that, we will start marking for a uh, the rest of the fittings so from the shoulder to the chest I will be taking extra because it's going to be one slip so it's going it would be easy for uh, girls to wear take it off and put it on and take it off easily so uh, the regular is five and a half inches but for this I will be taking seven and a half inches for the chest and 12 inches for the waist and um, from the waistline to uh, the hip mark I'll be taking 5 inches more so um, the chest is 8 inches the waist is 7 inches I want little fitting around the waistline and uh, the hips are going to be 8.5 to 9 inches uh, now this is on your taste the reason why I'm asking you to do this is because uh, they have to sit down and get up and run around so I don't want them to rip anything so I want to give enough um, fabric around that area so it would be easy for them to play Alright, so after that join all the measurements and then for the fitting of the sleeves I'll be taking four and a half inches and I will join all the lines together. After joining them you have to me you don't need a pointy um anything pointy because it doesn't uh, it's not flattering so you have to wind round it up just like i did so after that i have to transfer the same uh, these measurements on the other side these marking on the other side and i will put the pins and mark them at the back but before that I have to round it up because it's going to be it's I want you to give a little bit butterfly look uh, so from the corner I will be taking seven inches and from here I will round up all the fabric just like that and make sure you took this round little bit upwards so you have a roundness around the whole wing and here I will put the pins so I can transfer the markings at the back and uh, one thing you have to make sure that 
the all the marking markings or sorry all the markings are going to be on the right side of the fabric or the pretty side of the fabric because we'll be stitching on the right side of the fabric and make sure the chalk or uh, the marker or pen whatever you're using is washable or it's uh, easily vanished because you don't want to see unless you're using the laces or trims or something like that uh, if you're using that then it would be okay otherwise you have to make sure that you are using something which is washable or uh, iron it it will go away or something like that all right so now i will transfer all the markings and after that i'll cut the roundness at the this round shape Now I will take off all the pins. First I cut the back uh, neckline and then I will take off all the pins and then I have to cut the front neckline for that. Make sure uh, all uh, the fabric is straightened up and then you cut it. One more thing, I'm not making any slits at the back so uh, this is going to be uh, the neckline I I would have but if you want uh, you can add zipper or buttons whatever you like on my Urdu channel I promise you guys that I will be showing you different options for a printed fabric how you can design the printed fabric as you can see my fabric is so busy and uh, but you need something to break down uh, so what you can do is use different trims and uh, or ribbons but you have to make sure they're all plain they're not over the top or something like that and uh, either uh, you can stitch the ribbon around the stitching we are going to make for the fittings or i'm using this patches these patches are plain and i don't want them to be very plain so i will be using rhinestone just one rhinestone in the middle i don't want them over the top but still i want some focal point since as you can see this is all uh, the fabric is all busy and uh, the rhinestones i'm using is from dollar store and i have already used a lot of it i just wanted to show you different options um, as you can see the two look doesn't look nice one look really nice and it gives a little bit focal point I just wanted to show you different uh, one more options if you put a lot of anything uh, and as you can see the difference for pers for me personally I like one f only one rhinestone but in the comment section please do let me know what kind of uh, designing you like. I have took one inch of bias strip and I will be putting all around the neckline and uh, I will do the I will finish off the seams just fold twice and then make a straight stitch all around the edges now it's ready the neckline is done the fittings are done they're pretty easy but if still you have any questions please let me know uh, all the seams are done so now it's time for designing because i didn't want to take too much time of you guys so that's why i decided to finish all the stitching so you guys can easily see what i will be doing uh, to design this garment since it's, it has uh, so many things going on So I will be adding the belt and the belt I will be adding is uh, pretty simple uh, from the shoulder I will mark 12 inches this is where uh, she, the girls have their natural waistline so you have to measure yours so if your girl is taller or shorter or whatever size so you can uh, use this design for almost uh, for everyone. 
now I will measure how much ribbon I needed uh, first I decided to use all around the waistline but it would be a very separate video if you have to uh, stitch the belt all around the waistline on a kaftan so I will put uh, this that video very soon hopefully so first I measure uh, how much I needed the ribbon and then I took uh, one inch extra because I will be folding half an inch on either, either side right now I will be using glue uh, hot glue but I will do stitching on top of it I just wanted to place all the lining uh, sorry all the material so when I'll start stitching everything will be on its on um, sorry everything will be on its place If you want to use the fabric glue, make sure it's washable. H hot glue is not washable. Whenever you wash it, it will come out. Doesn't matter. It's hot. Uh, you wash it on hot water or cold water. So uh, you have to make sure what you are using if you don't want to stitch it. So this is the belt I have used, and I uh, will be using this uh, patch which has round, uh, rhinestones all over i use the gem tag i will put the i will upload a complete review video very soon uh, and uh, this is how i will arrange all the patches and i will put the rhinestones in between the gem tag glue is washable uh, and uh, it doesn't come out I have already used it in my other projects so I am okay with that now for the rest of the ribbon I decided to uh, do something but since um, I'm I was uh, brainstorming different ideas so at the end I thought I will make a ribbon flower and then I will put it up with the full patched of rhinestones So this is how I will do it. All right, now for the patches, I will do the hand shoe. But if you, uh, this is fabric patches, so I can definitely use sewing machine but since I've already stitched everything so I decided to just use the hand sewing and after that I will fix the belt as well so it would be easy for uh, otherwise it won't look nice it would be a little bit bulky if you don't sew the belt You can definitely use a sewing machine for around the belt area uh, or use a fabric glue which is washable. And that's about it for this video. I hope you guys understand and uh, it would be easy for you to follow this design. And I will see uh, that uh, I will show you that how it looks like and they really like it. They really loved it. They were, wore it on the same day. Um, unfortunately I wasn't able to get a uh, really nice pictures because it was um, so busy and hectic with my eight months old and uh, if you want to see the pictures then please go to my Instagram because I will upload the links uh, sorry pictures over there while they were wearing it they're two different designs but same style and uh, thank you so much if you guys like it please comment and tell me what you think how we can modify these design or um that's it thank you bye